Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got a little job here today working on a cylinder head. I need to take down the tops of these valve guides and cut clearance for the valve springs. This is going from a single spring to a dual spring setup and getting some better retainers and locks installed on it. I'll probably do the actual assembly in a separate video from the machine work, but uh, for now, let's take a look at getting this done. I'm going to use that end mill. I'm going to use that end mill to machine this. And this, if it'll focus. There we go. That's the cutter. So. Yeah, pilot guides it in there. I'll machine it down. Okay, so I have a brand new valve here. And whoever's worked on this head before put these valve guys in here. They got them too tight, or some of them are anyway. Look at that one right there. The valve won't move on its own. That's too tight. That one's the same way. That one there's okay. That's what you want. Nice free float, but not really any wiggle. That's a good fit. That one's okay. That one's too tight. So, take my little reamer and go in here and if I can't clean these up a little bit.
Well, so I got the two new valves in here, but I started lapping in these old valves I was given. And uh, if it'll focus, and see these valves are not in very good shape. They've had trash run through them. So they're pretty beat up. Uh, these valves didn't come out of his head. These seats are good. You can see where I lapped them. It's got a nice uh, ring all the way around there. Clean and shiny. And this exhaust is the same way. But these exhaust valves are beat up too. If it'll focus. Come on. Focus. There we go. Oh, you can see the damage there. You can also see that the margin's good. Uh, it's got good contact width, but those uh, pop marks in there are not going to let this seal up like it should, at least not for very long. So we have to do something about that. This thing's going to need a valve job. If I do have the guides fixed. Not sure where I was at on that, but nice and free, floaty float, but no wiggle. So, what I was looking for as far as that goes. So that's gonna bring this project to an end for the moment and until I come up with something to do about these valves. So, let me work on that and uh, we'll come back to this very shortly because I have a solution. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you later.